To be back at the Vatican seems like deja vu for Peter Isley, a childhood victim of clerical sex abuse. He recalls his time in Rome just a year ago for the sex abuse summit called for by Pope Francis. The founder of Ending Clergy Abuse says until there is no more abuse, he will continue to advocate for victims. Yet he admits in the course of the year, he has seen some progress. One is that uh, for the Vatican State, there's going to be uh, a change in their statute just there for child sex abuse. The second change was about whistleblowers, you know, that if you report, uh, you're, there's going to be no reprisal or whatever if you do it. Isley named the third change as the destruction of papal secrecy. He said while it's taken time, the United States has especially made moves to fight abuse. Additionally, dioceses throughout the world have organized church offices to receive abuse cases, and the legal process has been clarified in many areas. As a survivor, he admits he would like more done to protect each and every member of the church. And as an activist, he says he will continue to fight until this safety is achieved. Advocacy organizations ending clergy abuse and bishops' accountability organized events in Rome throughout the week to highlight the changes made, ask for more transparency, and demand yet again zero tolerance. At the Vatican, Melissa Butts, Curtin News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.